shop, souvenir shop. Plenty of places all over this place to actually just lie down. This is the coffee shop area. It's got like a little day bed. Stunning views. Of the island. Some really cool desserts I'll show you in a minute. That was me sneezing. Coconut juice, they got a really cool dessert bar. These pies look good. I'm definitely gonna get something later today. So we're kind of doing this in reverse. So this is the entrance. Oh, that's okay guys, maybe after. Yeah, maybe after. So, Pandora. this is the front of the hotel. Yeah, okay. We're about 10 minutes from the downtown Taiko Ohan. And these guys love selling this stuff. So you can see it's a beautiful like Miami style hotel. Um, so taking a tuk-tuk or a trike as they call them from the city center to here is maybe like a 15 minute drive depending on traffic, maybe less cost us 200 pesos and we're right next to this little souvenir monument. All right, so this is the, these are the stairs that come down. This is the awesome pool area. Great place to just lounge around. This is the eating area. You're gonna love the bar here. Shots are 20 pesos, the equivalent of about 40 pesos, uh, 40 cents. Yes, 40 cents, not 40 dollars like in Los Angeles. Um, it's a hotel that's got some hammocks. There's another floor below this with another pool, which I'll take you to. These are some rooms. I didn't get those rooms because lack of privacy, in my opinion. Beautiful infinity pool, and you can see it's a boutique hotel. It's got a few floors. I'm up on this one. And uh, they got some really cool books and lounge chairs. So you can just literally never leave the hotel. Um, and I'm going to take you to show, show you some other things. It's really got a cool um, architecture or design. It definitely needs a little bit of updating, even though it looks modern, just because being on the ocean, things kind of get beaten up a bit and they need to do a bit of maintenance, but I'm not going to do all on that nonsense. So anyways, let's see more of the hotel. This is the breakfast area and lunch and dinner area. It's a buffet, so let's go check it out. Fast and easy. I'm on the, I guess what's the top floor. I'm in room 208 to be specific. On one hand you have the, some rooms will have a view of just the city street and the hill. And on this side, obviously the ocean. Hi, what's up? All right. Yes, room is a mess, but I thought, let me just film this right now while I have time. So you walk in, my room has two beds. I think I asked for a king, I don't remember. I don't really care. You care about nothing else in the room when you get here because, well, of this. Balcony and endless views, high ceilings in your room. So the room feels like a lot bigger than it is, although it is sizable. And you have an awesome view of the two different infinity pools. So you get to see all the action in the night. Lots of privacy, people can't really see in your room. The room does come with a safe. The beds are comfortable, at least for me. But like I've said a million times, I'm not really that picky. I can sleep on the floor. Air conditioning is nice and cold. I read some other reviews saying the air conditioning wasn't cold. I mean, I can't speak for every room. Mine certainly was nice and cold. And, uh, you know, it's lacking a little, a few things here and there. Um, you know, the safe could be a little bigger. There could be hangers to hang your clothes, whatever. There's a fridge, by the way. And uh, here's the bathroom. Some people were mentioning they need to get fixed up a bit. Yeah, I guess I can buy that. I mean, there's some little details like the mirror getting busted up a bit. Maybe you need some painting. But this is the bathroom, stand-up shower, rain shower head, regular toilet. 
Um, it's a smaller bathroom, whatever. I don't know. I feel like on these beach hotels, it's, it's very hard to maintain them because um, of the salt water and stuff, but I really like the hotel. What did I pay? I think I paid for this upgraded room something like 70 or 80 bucks, and it came with breakfast. So, I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, maybe you can, but I don't, I don't think you can over in this area because once you go to Alona Beach, anything over the water is, you know, minimum a few hundred bucks a night. So that's the room. Uh, what can I say? This is our first, my first day here, and I'm just going to walk around a little bit and see the city, the downtown area, for Tech Bellerin, and then uh, just relax. I've been kind of go, 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 go since I got here, which is the opposite of what I wanted to do. I mean, go, 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 go in Cebu, that is. So now I'm just going to take today to read a book by the pool, uh, search for the end of the internet on my laptop, possibly, and maybe see the UFC fight. Uh, but I can definitely, I could definitely stay here for a week. So uh, that's it. That's the part, main part of the hotel. And uh, I definitely recommend it. One thing I am doing that you may want to do is I'm just, I'm going to spend two days here. And then I'm going to move hotels and stay two days on Alona Beach. So that way you kind of get the best of uh, both worlds. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I booked this hotel on Agoda. Agoda was the best deal I could find for it. Um, you may find it somewhere else. But for me at the time I booked, Agoda was the best deal. And if the hotel sees this review, thanks to them because, uh, special thanks to them because I had to cancel. I originally booked this hotel back in November. And uh, something came up and I ended up having to cancel my trip. And even though it was a non-refundable uh you know, purchase a room that I booked. Uh, they actually gave me all my money back, even though I booked, canceled at the last minute. They're like, it's all right, you can have it back. So thank you for doing that. You can, you can tell the hospitality when you get here too. The people are just really, really friendly. So that's it. That's it for my review for the Ocean Suites uh, Hotel in Bohol. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Good job. Well, here we are, early morning in Tag Balaran, Bohol. Uh, got an amazing hotel, beautiful view. These are the ocean suites uh, here in Tag Balaran. And I'm um, out, wow. This girl once told me she hates living in the city because time moves too fast. So that's most certainly true. Um, today I plan to do absolutely nothing. Um, I've been here almost a week in the Philippines, in Cebu, and I've probably gotten like maybe 15 hours of sleep in about a week, which was the opposite of what I was trying to accomplish, but there's just so many things to do, and I was just kind of going hard. Um, I don't know, just for fun, so why not? But now it's time to chill and relax a little bit, gonna book some tours and see what happens. Uh, so, you know, always a good time to decompress. The hotel's really cool. Alona Beach is down that way, and uh, I'm gonna probably walk into the city. There's a UFC fight today, and uh, that's about it. So stay tuned. Let's see how the trip goes.